Ever wondered what it'd be like to be a convict in Australia? What would it be like to be in that position? Oh yeah, those terrible tri ships. Well, we're going back in time to the late 18th century to visit Elizabeth Scott and see her life as a convict in Australia. convicted accused of. Wait a second, it's you guys. That's it, seven years hard labor in Australia. <laughs> Hurry Where up. are you taking us? Australia. What's that? It's the country where you'll finish up your hard labor. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. We don't want to go. go on. Okay guys, I'm here to explain the rules to you. If you try and escape, you get whipped. If you're good, you get put up in the upper ca uh, cabins. Every morning at five, you wake up to do hard labor on top of the ship. Okay, if you fight, you get whipped. If you talk, you get whipped. That's not fair. If you back chat, you get whipped. Ow! Seriously guys, I wouldn't step out of line if I were you. And what will you do if we do? You get whipped. <laughs> Guys, hurry up. It's so hot here. I hate it. I don't care. You've been complaining the whole trip. It's too hot. It's too cold. It's too wet. I'm in bed for months. Seriously. I wasn't bed. It was constantly cold. It's too wet too. I don't Good evening, care. guys. Ah, good evening. Here are your new convicts to help on your farm. Hello. 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 I get to decide. My, my. So skinny. Brawny. Don't touch her. Alistair, take the lady from me. Hi, I'm Lilana. <laughs> Come, we have a long walk back to our house. Back to the farm place. So, so hot. reasons that I took off your chains. You see, if you try to run, you're only going to go and die in the desert. <laughs> so I suggest you don't run away. 
I am Lady Aideen. Do you tell me all you got, madame? Ma'am. Or the first two questions. And I only have three rules. You never back chest. You never disobey. And if you run, you shall be beheaded. That is my law. Now hurry. There's a long distance to the farm. Here's the farm. Your serving quarters are over there, but they are currently full at the moment, so you will be staying here what? until there's more room. I have a whip. I, I will use it if you disobey any of my rules. So, enjoy your stay. Alistair, to your quarters. This is bollocks. Yes, Doesn't make sense. We can't stay here. Where are we supposed to sleep? We'll make do. We'll sleep on the grass. Are you kidding me? It's the best we've got. What else are we supposed to do? We still didn't live in conditions like this in London. And we had nothing. Well, this is the best we've got. We've got to make do with what we got and we've got to do it soon. We've got to make this nice. We can do it. Seven minutes. It's not going to go past quick. Right, ladies, up you get. What are you doing? Only oh, children on. play with the grass. Stand up and come up. As the newest recruits here, you shall be working down in the wheat fields. I hope you enjoy your stay. Rest is only 10 minutes. You should get a break every three hours. Enjoy. Alistair. But that's so cool. I Get to work. That. Come on, we better go. We have to make do. With you. Oh, shut up. Mm. This hurts. The leaves sting. But it stings. It hurts less than a whipping. I don't want any more whippings. This. Learn your hygiene, girl. No meal for you. Now, your hands. Clean. Alison. Enjoy your meal, my dear. Thank you, madam. Alistair, take a seat. Would you like any? No, thanks. Yeah, but... Want to give me some, sis? Fine. So, where do you come from? 
My God, did you steal that from your sister? It's no, not all she forced me. She's lying. What a choice. No food for any of you. Lelana, I will make you another dish. Well, Alistair will. Alistair? How could you, Leilana? I mean, own sister. You've been staring out the fence for months now. I know you want to run away. Why don't you just leave already? I know you don't want to be with me anymore. I've been here for your whole life for looking after you. And you second you meet some boy, some thug, some some loser. And you run off with him. You're gonna run off, I know it. Don't say that, he's not a thug. I love him and he's gonna protect me and our future's worth it. Road all you want. Protect Everybody stand it. up and line up in the regular place. Orlando Frank? Reddit! <laughs> Seriously, guys, speak up. Johnny Travolta? <laughs> Elizabeth and Elena Scott? Okay, you've got everyone. I think I'll be on my way now. Chop, chop, back to your work. Oh, sis. Yeah. Dear Elizabeth, I've grown tired of being told what to do, working pointlessly for the woman I hate. I've grown tired of my life being controlled by you, but once I can make my own decisions, and although you won't, won't like it, I am running away with well, that idea. I know you think he is nothing but a dirty old violent well, unsupporting thug. Like. But to me, he is much more. He is the love of my life. I hope that one day I will see you again. But now I make my own choices. Love, Lelana. Take this. I can't leave Elizabeth behind. You have to, there's no time. <laughs> Fine. Did you see where they went? Where who went? The convicts. What are you wearing? A couple of convicts stole my jacket. Aren't you here for the ones that just escaped? No. Go for this. Nothing personal, just business. Okay, for most people I say it's nothing personal, but for you, it quite obviously is. What do you mean? All that complaining on the ship drove me crazy. In fact, for like a month afterwards, all I could dream about was strangling you. Elizabeth Scott Life as an 18 year old convict, sent to Australia at a young age. She had to have a horrible life, strained under, under the horrible torture of a master named A.D. You would notice people like Elizabeth's sister, 
Leilana, would attach himself to male convicts or guards to avoid the cruelty of other male convicts who would do worse things to them. People would be whipped and tortured. They, there was no extent to the things that they went through. They were forced to work in the field for hours on end. I think the worst thing of all is the fact that they would have had to have left their whole family, their whole life, everything they knew in England, to go to this new country that very likely they didn't like. I hope you now realise the importance of learning Australia's history. Elizabeth Scott, played by John Travolta. Lalana Scott, by that chick no one likes. A.D., by Helena Bohm Carter. And of course, Louis Andy, played by Johnny Depp. And I'm an extra by Will Smith. I want to say that guy who's a bit. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, <laughs> my little cherry Courtney. <laughs> Blippers! Purple. Okay, it's electric. The <laughs> 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 mile! Let me change that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that really has. Ah. <laughs> Sorry about this. <laughs> no, like actually, really, really ow. Uh, you just uh, ruined it. Uh, you gotta deal with pain. <laughs> what? No, stop it! England, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, then we should just go along A block. What about just because, smile? Because this place is too modern to be like smile. old England. I can't smiling. Eden, <laughs> Eden. Yeah. I've zoomed in on your face. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, just, just don't do that. Just keep your head up because I don't want to see the floor. Okay. There you go. Okay. Look the opposite direction. I am an extra. <laughs> the camera's my skin. One. Okay. You see, there's a guy who got dead. You watch. No. Your boyfriend's gonna hate. Like Haley gets to whip her, and I. I'll have this one. Y'all. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> wow, well, I'm an Arby. Remember them? They're like, <gasps> oh yeah. Guys, shh. Crystal, you're up first. Yeah. <laughs> Almost obviously broke. Eden. <laughs> Haley, when Haley, you were they're supposed to whip her. So they all linked together. Prepare for this. Prepare for this. Prepare for this. I'm an extra. <laughs> you just get Aren't you here for the ones that just escaped? No. I don't know why I'm here. I think it's you. Okay, we so were, we were secretly in love behind Leilana's back. That's why I so hated her and him. Um, being yeah. Oh my gosh, your knees are showing. <laughs> don't say that, please. <laughs> with your manly accent. <laughs> what? Let's fight this for it, seriously. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now you're free. And I'll be like, it was awful. She just forced me to do it. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, <laughs> does it taste nice? <laughs> it's like coffee, actually. Ooh, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like. Okay. Why were you married then? <laughs> to cover up my true feelings. No, that was. Blah, 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 yeah. blah, 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 no comment. <laughs> well, I'll do that. I would give you an answer, but I can only sketch the side of my face. Ready? No comment as of yet. You guys run up the hill. Practice whooping, I am. I'm gonna be like you one day, Louis. Yeah, 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 of course. Be like me. A woman can't do nothing in society except be a wife. And have kids, of course, that's their destiny. I don't wanna be a whipper. No, you can't. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh my god! I have a very important question for everyone. Who wears the manly pants? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sophie. <laughs>
Chloe, seriously, leave. You guys are just home. Okay, Lucy, they're going to sit on you. Seriously, they are. It says what you do. Just listen to it. Oh, it does. Okay, now go in. Why is the film